Here's another creepy story for you guys. This is about one of my favorite stories. This, I gotta say, is one of my fifth favorite stories that I've been telling so far. Anyway, I already have others planned. So one night, as always, it's always night with, when you see creepy things. I was just around, you know, doing creepy things, as always. I always have liked creepy things, but sometimes they get a little too scary. So one night I decided I would I would just meet around out back with pretty much this this fake thing which I didn't know why I was going outside with this fake thing probably to scare off things. It had salt in it so things wouldn't come. I was really scared of things so I put salt in it and as I was there I heard dreaded sounds of screeching I could hear in the distance as I looked around I didn't see anything normal anyway and as I looked around I noticed something was weird there was a thing staring at me white dried eyes, blood around its eyes, blood on it. Looked like it was hit by a car or something. I didn't know what was wrong with him, but he just looked at me and locked his eyes into mine. I just grabbed a bat and hit him in the head. He just stared at me even wider with, a, with an even bigger crack on his head. He just looked at me with no, motionless just staring in the dark. As the dark started to fade away, he just he just ran. I know he would be back. And the next night I noticed he was. As I looked around I slightly started to notice I had candles with me. They were starting to melt out with the dreaded fire in them. One of them was completely empty. The other was just lit. As I heard the dreaded screams again, I suddenly noticed everything was starting to get weirder. Everything was turning back. And, and all the Halloween decorations were just staring at me. There was a spider that would glow red eyes when you press a button. I didn't realize the spider was on the ground and I stepped on it and it roared and with its red eyes and just stared into the dark. And then I saw the white eyes just staring again. Really creepy, I know, right? As the candles started lighting even more, I could still know that this wasn't the end of my encounters. Even though I've seen the rake, mostly every night he comes. Ever since this one encounter, I've been scared ever since. He has been roaming around me for years now. I think until 2017 he started. I would never tell you guys though. I, never th I thought you guys would get too scared if I told you. But now, now that, now that creepy things have been going for too long, I don't have many people to tell them, so I tell them to you, guys. And I'm sure, I'm sure one night those white eyes will be dreading at me in the dark at any time. Whenever I don't expect it to ever the dark has always been creepy shadows have always moved against the walls making drab looking monsters on the wall well dark looking monsters anyway as the shadows just move by the moving with trees and the wind 
But one night, I saw a shadow that didn't look like a tree. It looked like what you guys are seeing. And then I just saw the white eyes in, into the, the window. I noticed there was something wrong. I know this, whatever this was will actually come back eventually. And I don't expect it to. It will come back and it has always come back. Me and my friends have always been seeing the rake, especially one of my friends. We've been seeing the rake for so long and I and I know most of the stories are almost the same. Most of them have been reported the same, the same as always. But once, the rake wouldn't even go by me at, in day. He wouldn't go by me. He would just stare at me with his black coal eyes and just look at me. And then he would just run off. He ran off so quick that I, he ran so quick that once I blinked, he was just gone. It's like he teleported or something. I know he'll come back one day in the dark.